add to setup, recapture, bot protection in Google Cloud Console. In this video session, let's learn how we can set up, recapture and generate keys. First, there is basically two different ways to set up recapture. If your website has a lot of traffic, recapture has limitations up to 10,000 assessments per month. That means when you're setting up recapture in Google Cloud, if you need more limitations, then you need to enable billing so that recapture keys work properly if your website exceeds the allowed qu quota okay so basically when you log into your google cloud you'll need to create a project for the first time you can visit this url cloud resource manager then create the project as we can see Google Cloud gives us 25 project limitations, which is plenty. We can give it a name to anything we want. We can also change the ID of the project while we are creating it. But the ID cannot be changed later. You can add an organization by following you know, the options for adding an organization, okay? So I'll show you how to do that according to the project as well. So then, all we need to do is simply create our project. Once the project is created, we can visit its dashboard to see more information. We can go to project settings. Here we have privacy and security. To use Google Recapture or Google APIs, it's very important that we read through the terms and conditions. Yeah. Then we have settings. We'll, we can see our project name and ID and the project number too. Here we can add organization if we want. Or we can manage our billing. Just imagine your website or your client's website will require more than the current threshold for assessments per month, then you definitely want to add billing information. Now, let's imagine we have added the billing or we didn't. Let's imagine you have a small business website with limited traffic per month, then you don't need to enable billing. Just be aware that if you pass the threshold, the recapture keys will not work. Then from the menu option, simply view all products. You can always search for a product. Basically what we want is, we want APIs and services. Actually we wanted the security as well. Recapture enterprise API, that's different. Because I'm gonna show you view all products. I'm going to show you the free basic version of recapture. Then here, let's go to security. And let's press on security. Then let's now press on recapture under detections and control. Let's press on that. Here, what we need to do is generate our recapture keys. Let's create a key. Display name can be anything that you want. Choose a platform, whether it's website or Android app or iOS app. Typical website, let's leave it as such. Domain list is absolutely important if you don't want your API key to be used by other people. Let's add a domain. Here it gives us example as to how we can add a domain. We need to add the top level domain name. But let's imagine you want your key to be used on a different website 
that you operate then you can add a different domain name if you want you can always delete them too here the latest recapture gives us additional features such as web application firewall you may want to enable or disable them you can do testing and all that stuff right so then it's just a matter of pressing create key and what will happen is Google recapture will go ahead and create the key for you furthermore it will guide you as to how you can integrate the key that you've generated on your website that is how you generate a recapture key using Google Cloud Platform once again there are basically two different ways to generate the key one is this option that I've just shown to you and the other one is the enterprise API key both will do the bot spam protection for your website okay okay let's go back to key details here we can always go back to different menu options for that project and see the key here it says finish setting up your key request tokens finish setting up by well, start requesting tokens which are you need to call the API key okay. so that will depend on the type of content management system or uh, website that you're using but in the upcoming tutorials or even rank your website I may create additional tutorials showing you how to request that API but also remember you've got the test live feature here so you can give it a try you can actually see how you meant to integrate because Google Cloud gives you the demo website with recapture all you need to do then take a look at the examples and just change the API key so that is how you set up the latest recapture on Google Cloud Platform